Here we have the Sabrin M.2 enclosure. Here's the back of the packaging if you'd like to pause and read it. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and open it up and we'll see what's included in the packaging. There's a short, approximately 6 inch USB C to C cable included that works with the 10 gig USB interface. Here's a close up of that 6 inch USB C to C cable. You can also see that there is a set of quick start instructions. And now let's go ahead and get the drive enclosure removed from the packaging. And here's the enclosure itself. The enclosure is mostly, if not totally, metal, so it has a very premium feel to it. On the side, there's the button to open it up, and then you pull the top. You can see the M.2 interface at the top of the enclosure, as well as the mount point for the drives. This rubber bit is if your drive is less than 80 millimeters, it'll secure the notch down. The enclosure is totally toolless, which is an excellent feature to have in the field. Here we have the two M.2 drives I purchased to test, a SATA 3 MS30 and an NVMe MP33, both in 256 gig capacities. I'll go ahead and open up the SATA drive first, so let's cut that open. Now let's get the NVMe drive out. Zooming in on them next to each other, you can see the physical differences here. This is called keying and it differentiates the different protocols that the drives use and helps to prevent you from plugging a drive into a controller that it may not be compatible with. Because even though both of these drives have an M.2 interface, the controller behind it may accept SATA, NVMe, or both. Let's go ahead and get the SATA SSD installed. First, we take the nub out because my drive is 80 millimeters, so we will not need it. We're gonna go ahead and insert the contacts first at a slight angle and then push the drive into the connector. Now we'll push the SSD down to the bottom and twist the lock to keep it secured. 